I have always been a fan of those popular BL series in the earlier days but I guess it's time to talk about those unpopular BL series that are also worth watching. In this video, we will be discussing about these 10 unpopular BL series that I think should have been more popular. If you also think of other BL shows that could be in this list, feel free to comment down below. Before that, some of these BL series might not be available on your country due to geo-blocked restriction. If that's the case, then you might want to sign up to ExpressVPN so you can unlock these geo-blocked BL dramas while also surfing the web safely and anonymously. Use the link on the description below to have 49% discount plus an additional 3 months free of usage if you opt to avail the 12 month plan. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First on our list, Triage, as my number 1 series of 2022. It pains me to see this as one of the most unpopular BL shows. The concept was really good and the acting performances were phenomenal. Time loop might not be everyone's cup of tea but this series will keep you on the edge of your seat. Triage tells the story of Dr. Tin, an emergency medicine resident who lost his will to save other people because of the death of his sister due to car accident. During his duty, a university student named Tol happened to be in a car accident and Tin was in charge. When he couldn't save the life of Tol, Tin wakes up and finds himself in a time loop. In order to break free from the loop, Tin needs to alter the fate of Tol. Triage can be watched on AIS Play. Number 2. My Only 12%. Another favorite series of mine is my only 12% and although it's a school based BL, it still managed to surprise me with its plot and delivery. My favorite part of the series is really the main couple. The amount of chemistry they have shown to us in the story was impeccable. They are so much compatible with each other and that helped me to be more invested with the series. My only 12% tells the story of Cake and CEU, who have been friends since they were still children. By being next door neighbors, the two become even closer despite their differences with their personalities. As the two grow older, Cake and CEU began to see each other differently. Since Santa aspires to be an idol in the future, we might never see this pairing again in the future BL series. My only 12% can be watched on YouTube and IQE. Number 3, The Miracle of Teddy Bear, one of the best BL series that was released last year was The Miracle of Teddy Bear and it's extremely unpopular, aside from its finale episode. The Miracle of Teddy Bear covered a lot of issues whether it's a family problem, homophobia, and so much more. I also loved the chemistry of both couples in the series and I never got bored with their story even if an episode composed of more than an hour. The Miracle of Teddy Bear tells the story of Tofu. A giant teddy bear who miraculously turns into a human. Nut and Tofu's first meeting was indeed chaotic but at least we get to see both of them fall for each other as time goes by. There were a lot of sad and happy moments in this BL and that made this series a perfect one for me. The miracle of teddy bear can be watched on Netflix. Number 4, once again, one of the concepts that I really like in BL shows lately is time traveling and I would love to see that kind of plot in the future BL series. Once again is one of the BL shows that feature a time traveling plot and even though it was kind of messy, I enjoyed watching it. Once again tells the story of Shin Jae Woo, a man who was saved by Ji Hoon when he was still a kid. When Shin Jae Woo visits the college dormitory when Ji Hoon used to live. He was surprised when he realized he traveled back in time. Shin Jae Woo will do everything just to alter the fate of Ji Hoon. This would have been a better show if the execution was better but I guess their budget was limited. Once again can be watched on Vicky and Ikee. Number 5, About Youth. 
This was indeed a fan favorite when it was still airing but sadly, it did not get enough popularity like any other BL series from the same year. With the combination of romance and music as its genres, About Youth gave us a wonderful love stories of two couples. About Youth tells the story of Yi Guang, a popular high school student who excels in every subject, and Zhu Qi Jiang, a high school student who has a great musical talent. The two start to become friends but later on develop a stronger feelings for each other. About Youth can be watched on Gaga Ulala and YouTube. Number 6. The New Employee. This Korean BL isn't only an unpopular one but it's also an underrated series. I have watched a lot of BL shows which have complicated plots but the new employee is more like an ordinary series with a simple plot. The chemistry was good and it's straight to the point story was probably the reason why I liked it so much. The new employee tells the story of Soong Hyun, a guy in his late 20s who managed to have his dream internship. In the company, he meets Jong Chan, a handsome yet cold manager who happens to be his new boss. As the two become even closer, they will learn new things outside of their work. The new employee can be watched on Viki. Number 7. Dear Doctor. Ghost stories and anything related to them are not my cup of tea but Dear Doctor was an exception. The concept was indeed new although I've seen other dramas like this before such as Black, a Korean drama. Dear Doctor tells the story of Dr. Prakken, a surgeon who will do everything just to save his patients. But how could he win against death himself? A love story between a doctor and a soul reaper is something we rarely see so I hope concepts like this would become more popular in the future. Dear Doctor can be watched on YouTube and IQE. Number 8. 180 degree longitude passes through us. This is definitely one of the most unpopular BL series from last year that I think deserved to become even more popular. It was beautifully done although some might hate the ending it got. 180 degree longitude passes through us tells the story of Wang, a teenager who experiences his first love within, his father's former lover. The conflict of emotions was something that pushed me to finish its story even though I already knew what was coming for me. 180 degree longitude passes through us can be watched on Gaga Ulala. Number 9, Eternal Yesterday, one of the best Japanese BL series I have seen so far. Eternal Yesterday was truly a masterpiece of its own. Oftentimes, we want to watch a rom-com stories just to make ourselves feel good whenever we are down. But Eternal Yesterday was my comfort BL because of how the feelings were so realistic with its supernatural plot. Eternal Yesterday tells the story of Mitsuru, a young man who has talents but lacks social skills and Koichi, a popular guy in his class. One day, Koichi was hit by a truck but he stood up like nothing happens. I love everything about this series and I would never forget its story. Eternal Yesterday can be watched on Viki and Gagu Lala. Number 10. 21 Days Theory. I only wanted to watch this because it's a mini-series so it won't consume much of my time. But after watching it, I wanted more of it because it was greatly done. It's not on par with that of other BL shows with much better budget but its simplicity makes it unique. 21 Days Theory tells the story of Q, a high school student who dreams of becoming a celebrity, and X, another student who has a secret crush with Q. X challenges Q to make Mook invite him to a Net Idol Awards ceremony in the next three weeks. Unknowingly, this challenge will make them realize their feelings with each other. It's a simple cute story but I was really satisfied with what I have seen for its story. 21 Days Theory can be watched on YouTube.
Those are the 10 unpopular BL series that deserve to become even more popular. Aside from these titles, which other BL shows do you think can be added in this list? Thank you for watching. That's it and see you on the next one.